Hey guys, it's me, the math person. Today I'll be going over question 208 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video quick and try to palm yourself. Okay, so you're, you're ready. to let just dive right in. So there's three mutually exclusive groups high risk, medium risk, and low risk. There is 0.45 low risk and 0.35 medium risk. So that leaves 0.2 for high risk. Okay. And the probability of death over the next year given that policyholder is high risk. So probability of death given they're a high risk is twice, two times likely as the probability of death of a medium risk holder. So medium death given their medium. And uh, high risk, the probability of death over the next year given the policyholder is a medium. So probability of death given their medium is equal to three times the probability of death over the low risk policy holder. Okay, and we know the probability of death is equal to 0 0.09, 009. By the law of total probability, we know the probability of D is equal to the probability of D given H times probability of H plus the probability of D given M times probability of M and lastly, the probability of L given death given low risk times probability of L. Yeah, we can just put it all in terms of D, um, D of M. So if you do that, probably the dead is 0 0.009 is equal to probably D of H. In terms of this, it's just two times the probability of D given M times probability of H, which is 0 0.2 plus probability D and M. I'm just going to keep it as is. Then it's probability of M, which is 0.35, plus probability of D and L. If I put this in terms of D and L, this is equal to one third probability of D and given M is equal to probability of D given L. I'm just going to plug that in here. Times probability of L. Probability of L we know to be 0.45. And now I can think of like the probability of D and M as a um, like an x variable, kind of. So we know that 0 0.009 is equal to two times x, two times 0 0.2, which is 0 0.4 times x plus 0 0.35 times x plus one third of 0.45, so like 0.15 x. So we can add the coefficients, coefficients together, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.15, which is equal to 0.9x is equal to 0 0.009. So then x is equal to 0 0.01. So if we know x, which is probability of D given M is equal to 0 0.01. Wait, what are we looking for? Okay, we're looking for the probability of death given their H. We can just plug it in here. So probability of D given H is equal to 2 times the probability that D is given M, which is this one right here, 2 times 0 0.01, which is just equal to 0 0.02, which is your answer B. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!